single payment compound amount. In this type of investment mode, the objective is to determine a single future sum f of the initial payment p made at time t equal to 0 after n interest periods at an interest rate of i which is compounded every period. The cash flow diagram of this investment is you have a timeline and you have made an initial payment p at time t equal to 0. You are supposed to determine the value of single future sum after n interest period. The mathematical representation of this statement is known value of p if f is unknown with i interest rate and n interest period where f slash p i n is called single payment compound amount factor. The formula to obtain the single payment compound amount is f is equal to p into 1 plus i all to the power of n. Here the value of interest is in terms of decimals. Okay, we'll now solve our problem on single payment compound amount. A person deposits a sum of rupees 40,000 at a at an interest rate of 15% which is compounded annually for 10 years. Find the maturity value after 10 years. So this is the question. A person is depositing 40,000 rupees in a bank for 10 years and the bank is giving an interest rate of 15% which is compounded annually. So you are supposed to determine how much he is going to get after 10 years. So, solution for this problem, we will write down the given data first, given data, so first is the principal amount, that is the amount which is going to deposit into the bank, principal amount. which is denoted as capital P is equal to rupees 40,000. Next, the interest period interest which is denoted as N is 10 years. So N is 10 years. Next, interest rate, interest rate which is denoted as I is equal to 15%, 15%. So for this type of problem, you are supposed to draw a cash flow diagram. So as you know, the cash flow diagram, it consists of a timeline which is denoted as horizontal so this is the time then you have two vertical arrows which represents if the arrow is vertically downwards it is cash outflow if you have any cash inflow any money which is coming to your account that is cash inflow so cash inflow is any money which is coming into your account. Cash outflow is any money which you are going to take it from your account and put it into some other account in this particular time line. So now we'll draw the cash flow diagram for this particular question. So first I will draw the timeline. So timeline it is consisting of totally 10 years. So what I will do I will draw cash flow I mean timeline. So, so always your cash flow starts with time t equal to 0 that is when you are going to make some investment. Then you have 
equal interval of years so 1 2 3 4 etc this is 9 and this is the 10th year so number of years is 10 therefore I am drawing a time scale network or time scale of 10 years now we need to draw the cash flows since the person is depositing a sum of 40,000 into a bank so what is happening now the person from his account he is going to put 40,000 rupees into bank's account so from the person's account it is going towards bank account therefore it is a cash outflow the money from the person's account it is going into bank account therefore it is a cash outflow of 40,000 now you are supposed to determine what is the maturity value that is after 10 years the money from the bank account it is getting into the person's account that is the money is coming into the person's account which is cash inflow this particular value is unknown value this is what we are supposed to determine so the maturity value we have the equation to calculate the maturity value which is F this is principal amount and this is the future sum that is the value of F is equal to principal amount multiplied by 1 plus i to the power of n so yes we need to keep in mind that the value of i that is the interest rate is in decimals it's not in percentage in this particular equation the value of i will be in decimal if you can remember this equation is same as that of compound interest so in compound interest we add p into 1 plus i divided by 100 to the power of n so same thing where i was in percentage but here the i is in decimal so value of i is in decimal so therefore i am substituting the value to this particular equation so p is 40000 multiplied by 1 plus so 15% if i convert it into decimal it is 0 0.15 so it's 15 divided by 100 so it is 0 0.15 whole to the power of n value is 10 years so that is 10 so which is equal to so always for this type of problem first thing is you are supposed to determine this particular value and then multiply it with the principal amount so 40,000 multiplied by we are supposed to calculate this value so the value is bracket 1 plus 0 0.15 bracket closed to the power of 10 equal to so the value what I am getting here is 4.046 so up to 3 decimal you are supposed to take for these problems so now I am multiplying with the principal amount so 40,000 multiplied by 4.046 going to give rupees 1,61,840 so this is the maturity value F